My name is Mike Grunder. Um, I've been, I'm currently 6 0 MMA. I've just won the AFC belt, lightweight, and um, I've been freestyle wrestling now so for 20 years. Um, I'm currently coach at Cabon Liverpool and Cabon Wigan now, and um, I've been to the Commonwealth Games in 2010. I was on the Olympic team 2008, um, and I'm looking to probably go to the um, Commonwealth Games 2014 as well for wrestling. Right, we um, currently just opened a team called Van Wigan. Um, we started off as a freestyle wrestling club. We still have a freestyle wrestling club, but we kind of branched out into MMA because of obvious reasons. It's, it's a massive now with the UFC and the Bellator and the big massive organisations. And um, But like I said, we did start as a freestyle wrestling club. And we've got a massive opening day on the 5th of, 5th of January. We've got uh, UFC fighters, Andy Ogle. We've got Bellator fighters, Terry Etting, Paul Sass. Like Scanlon, all coming doing demos. We'll have wrestling demos on, Thai demos on, um, BJJ demos on. Um, and the classes we've got on, we've got classes on for kids, adults, women, beginners, anyone. They don't have to be a fighter, a ready made fighter to come here. They can be um, a complete beginner. Uh, we've got kids' Thai classes on, kids' wrestling classes on, BJJ classes with kids, um, boxing classes with kids. Uh, like and then we've got Marlon for adults as well. But like I say, you can become a complete beginner to come and, come and train with us. Right, so I currently defended the AFC lightweight belt against Anna Kagler from AVT. Um, I, knew, I knew it was going to be a kind of a tough fight. I knew it was kind of going to go to the distance uh, because his ground game was quite good. Um, but I always knew I was in, never, during the fight, I was never in any danger. You know what I mean? I was quite happy that I rocked him as well with my hands, which was usually obvious. everyone expects me to run out and just take him down quick. Uh, but I rocked him with my hands and um, I just kept control on top throughout the fight. I was never in any danger of any subs. His ground game was quite good. His coach is a black belt who's currently just got signed for the UFC, so yeah, we, knew, we knew his ground was going to be OK. Um, but through the fight, I controlled him all the way through, never in any danger. The third round, I managed to almost get an end round choke. Didn't come off, but... Like I said, I was happy with the fight. I was happy to get three rounds out because obviously all my other fights, they've been, all my five other fights, they've been first round finishes probably in the first two minutes. So it was good to get three rounds experience in, wrestling for the future for when I go pro eventually. Uh, with me going pro, it's totally out of my hands really. I've just got to keep training, training hard, and um, my coach Colin Aaron will, will tell me when I'm ready to go pro. Um, he probably wants probably a couple more uh, amateur fights, a bit more tougher fights, and then he probably will probably put me pro then hopefully. But it's entirely up to him. It's out of my hands that. Now, just a bit about the coaches we've got at Team Cabon Wigan. We've got um, wrestling coach. It's myself and my uh, dad Dave Grundy. Uh, I'm currently uh, British. I've been British champions over ten times during my career. Um, I've been to the World Championships, took 12th in the world in Denmark in 2009. Um, Commonwealth Games 2010. Um, also, we've got Thai boxing coach Colin Farica. He's um, five times English, five times British champion. Uh, he got, also got picked for the contender. And we have Lee Blundell, their boxing coach. He's intercontinental champion. Uh, he had 35 pro fights and a 90% winning record. And we have Aspinall BJJ, that's black belt situation. Obviously, everybody knows about them. And um, the MMA coaches is Tom Aspinall and Mike Grundy as well. That's me and myself. So, and obviously we're currently Tom seven and zero. I'm six and zero MMA record.